2020 to 2024 extra class. FCC Element 4 Question Pool. Effective July 1, 2020. Edited by KI5DFU. June 2020. Subelement E3 Radio Wave Propagation, 3 Exam Questions 3 Groups Electromagnetic Waves, Earth Moon Earth Communications, Meteor Scatter, Microwave Tropospheric and Scatter Propagation, Aurora Propagation, Ionospheric Propagation Changes Over the Day, Circular Polarization What is the approximate maximum separation measured along the surface of the Earth between two stations communicating by EME? Answer, 12,000 miles, if the moon is visible by both stations. What characterizes libration fading of an EME signal? Answer, a fluttery irregular fading. When scheduling EME contacts, which of these conditions will generally result in the least path loss? Answer, when the moon is at perigee. What do Hepburn maps predict? Answer, probability of tropospheric propagation. Tropospheric propagation of microwave signals often occurs in association with what phenomenon? Answer, warm and cold fronts. What might help to restore contact when DX signals become too weak to copy across an entire HF band a few hours after sunset? Answer, switch to a lower frequency HF band. Atmospheric ducts capable of propagating microwave signals often form over what geographic feature? Answer, bodies of water. When a meteor strikes the Earth's atmosphere, a cylindrical region of free electrons is formed at what layer of the ionosphere? Answer, the E layer. Which of the following frequency ranges is most suited for meteor scatter communications? Answer, 28 megahertz, 148 megahertz. Which type of atmospheric structure can create a path for microwave propagation? Answer, Temperature inversion. What is a typical range for tropospheric propagation of microwave signals? Answer, 100 miles to 300 miles. What is the cause of auroral activity? Ans answer, the interaction in the E layer of charged particles from the sun with the Earth's magnetic field. Which of these emission modes is best for auroral propagation? Answer, CW. What is meant by circularly polarized electromagnetic waves? Answer, waves with a rotating electric field. Transequatorial propagation, long path, gray line, ordinary and extraordinary waves, chordal hop, sporadic E mechanisms. What is transequatorial propagation? Answer, propagation between two mid latitude points at approximately the same distance north and south of the magnetic equator. What is the approximate maximum range for signals using transequatorial propagation? Answer, 5,000 miles. What is the best time of day for transequatorial propagation? Answer, afternoon or early evening. What is meant by the terms extraordinary and ordinary waves? Answer, independent waves created in the ionosphere that are elliptically polarized. Which amateur bands typically support long path propagation? Answer, 160 meters to 10 meters. Which of the following amateur bands most frequently provides long path propagation? Answer, 20 meters. What happens to linearly polarized radio waves that split into ordinary and extraordinary waves in the ionosphere? Answer, they become elliptically polarized. What is the term for the long path opening that exists between two points on the Earth which are simultaneously near sunrise and sunset? Answer, gray line. At what time of year is sporadic E propagation most likely to occur? Answer, around the solstices, especially the summer solstice. Why is chordal hop propagation desirable? Answer, the signal experiences less loss compared to multi-hop using Earth as a reflector. At what time of day can sporadic E propagation occur? Answer, any time. What is the primary characteristic of chordal hop propagation? Answer, successive ionospheric refractions without an intermediate reflection from the ground. Radio horizon, ground wave, propagation prediction techniques and modeling, effects of space weather parameters on propagation. 
What does the radio communication term ray tracing describe? Answer, modeling a radio wave's path through the ionosphere. What is indicated by a rising A or K index? Answer, increasing disruption of the geomagnetic field. Which of the following signal paths is most likely to experience high levels of absorption when the A index or K index is elevated? Answer, polar. What does the value of BZ, B sub Z represent? Answer, direction and strength of the interplanetary magnetic field. What orientation of BZ, B sub Z, increases the likelihood that incoming particles from the sun will cause disturbed conditions? Answer, southward. By how much does the VHF slash UHF radio horizon distance exceed the geometric horizon? Answer, by approximately 15% of the distance. Which of the following descriptors indicates the greatest solar flare intensity? Answer, class X. What does the space weather term G5 mean? Answer, an extreme geomagnetic storm. How does the intensity of an X3 flare compare to that of an X2 flare? Answer, 50% greater. What does the 304A solar parameter measure? Answer, UV emissions at 304 angstroms, correlated to the solar flux index. What does vocap software model? Answer, HF propagation. How does the maximum range of ground wave propagation change when the signal frequency is increased? Answer, it decreases. What type of polarization is best for ground wave propagation? Answer, vertical. Why does the radio path horizon distance exceed the geometric horizon? Answer, downward bending due to density variations in the atmosphere. What might be indicated by a sudden rise in radio background noise across a large portion of the HF spectrum? Answer, a solar flare has occurred, 